today I am going to talk about uh, the scripture that I God gave me to read and at my son's funeral. But last week I talked a little bit about our personal life and as parent, my late husband Varn Brown Sr. Our uh, personal life with Varn Jr. And I told a couple of stories about how he had some internal struggles because of some devilish circumstances, not casting blame anywhere. People that know the real story, uh, they may feel that way, but I'm not naming names. And God gave me that way to say it so that I wouldn't directly cast blame. But there were some devilish circumstances and evil events that happened in my son's life. And they didn't come from his father and they didn't come from me, his stepmom, and they didn't come from his mother. So where do you think that leaves it? The devil. The devil caused that. I don't care who was involved. The devil initiated that. But I uh, was talking about uh, these things that made him the way he was. And so sometimes he would distance himself from us, and which was very hurtful. But God helped us love anyway and more and more even we three as parents although we never became buddy buddy or girlfriends but we operated in agape love and that's the highest kind of love that's god kind of love the kind of love that overlooks fault the kind of love that covers a multitude of sin even love our sons anyway to the best of our ability and do what's right by them and that's how God graced us to be. And I think it was a beautiful example of agape love. And you know, uh, when I say it like that, it makes me feel proud. <laughs> Not pride as in I did anything, but God graced us. He graced us to do that. And so it becomes my job to express that. Because let me tell you, we live in a world that needs that kind of love as a model. They need to see that. They need to know that. That is their, that kind of love that we can walk in, that we can rise to. We can rise to that. We don't have to succumb to the fleshly love that I was talking about, that um, emotions are ruling and spike games are being played, political games. We don't have to succumb to that. Now we are in this world, so we do have it to deal with, but we can seek to rise to the God kind of love, the God kind of love. And that's what our call was. I also said earlier that uh, because of these devilish circumstances and evil events that happened in my son's life, we never had the heart to be harsh with him. We didn't. We didn't have to, I mean, have the heart to be really hard on him, him or our second son. We didn't have the heart to do it, but God uh, gave us the strength to do what it took to discipline them. He gave us the strength to do, that, to do that. That came from him. That was his input because we had God in our life, because we had Jesus in the center. <laughs> you know, you heard that because we did that. God's input was, I know you feel bad for these things that have happened. I know you feel bad, but you have to do this that I'm telling you. You have to discipline him. You have to give him correction. You have to tell him the right way. You wouldn't want to stand there, you parents. You wouldn't want to stand there and watch your son running in a certain direction. You know, at the end of that road is a steep cliff. You wouldn't stand there and let him just run off the cliff, would you? No, you wouldn't because you love them. I am talking about a tough kind of love. I am talking about that. Not the kind of love that's going to beat you black and blue, have whelps on you that are, are wounds instead of whelps. Whelps only last a day at the most, should be only a couple hours. <laughs> From my understanding, I've never hit. But well, if you spank a child, they should not have bare signs of it. A few weeks later, something is not right with that picture. So I'm just saying that that was a part of what I expressed in, in the last 